Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Hmm, red. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, Bataya and kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly, tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? <laughs> Very good, they're red. And the banana? Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Aha, <laughs> blue. What a team! There's only one left. The Pattaya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green, like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries. And pink, like the flamingo or the pataya. <laughs> and like pops. Yay! Learning is so fun. <laughs> hey kids, why so bored? Let's go out and play. We can learn to count. It's gonna be fun. Okay, kids, let's learn to count. One. There is one, Groovy. And one, Phoebe. What else? One dog? That's it. Next, two. There are two. Exactly, flowers. One and two. Very good. Let's see. What's the next one? Three. Perfect. One, two, three. That's it. 
next number is four. Right there, there are four penguins. One, two, three, four. Cool. Which one is next, kids? Ha ha ha, exactly. Five, five baby sharks. One, two, three, four, and five. Next number, six. Look to the sky. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Come on, Phoebe, you have to pick up seven ducks on time. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, ha, 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 seven. To count to eight, I have an idea. Hey, Groovy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's count up to nine now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> and ten. How much fun! Do you think you remember all the numbers? It's your time to count by yourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good! What a beautiful day to learn about fruits and vegetables. Let's see, let's see, what do we have here? Mmm, fruits and veggies. Delicious! Do you know all their names? Tomato, banana, eggplant, carrot, potato, peach, broccoli, lettuce, apple, and asparagus. Good! All right, kids, you already know how a tomato, a peach, or a banana look. But do you know what they are? Fruits or vegetables? <laughs> do you want me to explain to you the difference? Great, Pops. Could you help me? Both fruits and veggies come from plants, depending on which part of the plant it is. It will be a fruit or a veggie. Let's start with fruits. Ah, fruits were once beautiful flowers. Flowers not only smell great, but also help plants reproduce. That's why fruits have seeds. This is why tomatoes, bananas, eggplants, peaches, and apples are fruits. They were flowers before. And vegetables then? Veggies are any other edible part of the plant seeds. Tubers, roots, and bulbs also planted underground. And then stems and leaves and open flowers. Underground, we find veggies as carrots and potatoes. We also eat stems as asparagus, leaves as lettuce, and open flowers as broccoli. It will take you some time to learn to distinguish them. Even some adults are wrong sometimes. <laughs> Do you want to play with a digital board to practice? You 
have to place fruits at the left and vegetables at the right. Ready? Oh, where's the pointer? Well, kids, don't worry. Groovy can help us. Whoa, thanks, Groovy. Tomato, fruit or veggie? Remember, it has seeds. That's it. Tomatoes are fruits, even if it's not sweet. Banana? Yes, banana are fruit. And eggplant? No, kids. They were flowers before. Haha, <laughs> that's it. Eggplants are fruits. And carrots? Yes, carrots are edible roots. What about the potato? Exactly. Potatoes are veggies. They're tubers. And peach? Easy, isn't it? Great, peaches are fruits with a really big seed. Hmm, broccoli. A vegetable, right? Although it seems difficult to believe, broccolis are flowers. And lettuce? This one is also easy. They're leaves of the plant. They're vegetables. And apples? A fruit, of course. They've got big seeds, too. And the last one? Asparagus. Very good. Groovy, it's a veggie. They're stems. You've done great. I know it can be challenging sometimes, but whether it's a fruit or a vegetable, just be sure you eat plenty of both. What a beautiful day to play in the sandbox. <laughs> Groovy, that crab is so cute. Hmm, what smells so good? I'm sure it's something delicious. Watch out! Uh, broccoli, that's what smells so good. No, Groovy, you have to wait until everyone is at the table. Why don't you go find Phoebe? Phoebe, lunch is ready. Hurry up because Groovy is starving. Groovy, you have to help Phoebe get free. <laughs> I think that won't be enough. Hmm, I don't know if any of these transformations will work. Wait, yes, a shovel is just what we need. We can tell how hungry Groovy is by how he runs. What's wrong, Phoebe? Don't you like broccoli? Broccoli tastes great, right, Groovy? <coughs> Groovy, that's Phoebe's lunch. Phoebe, broccoli is really healthy. Don't you want to try it? I'm sure you're going to like it. Mm, Pops, help me explain to her how important it is to eat vegetables and fruits. Eating fruits and vegetables like broccoli is really important for our health. Fruits and veggies are our main source of nutrients to be strong and grow without stopping. 
We should eat five pieces of fruits and veggies a day. Groovy eats more than five. For sure. <laughs> and you kids, do you eat fruits and veggies daily? Phoebe, why won't you even try a little bit of this broccoli? Come on. If you only give it a chance, I'm sure you're going to love it. Right, kids? Oh, Phoebe can't keep cycling because she's starving. Of course you haven't eaten your veggies. Now you have no strength. Wow, Groovy! That broccoli made you super strong. Don't worry, Phoebe. We can fix it later. But now, how are we going to get back home? I know! Groovy can help us. Groovy, can you help us? What should Groovy transform into to bring Phoebe and her broken tricycle home? Into a bouquet of flowers? A mop? Or tow truck? That's it! Groovy should transform into a tow truck to get back home. All right, kids. Wow, with this super tow truck, we'll be home in a minute. Look, Groovy, today's your lucky day. There's veggies for dinner, too. I'm sorry, Phoebe. Come on, Phoebe, try it. Surely they're delicious. Daddy cooks really well. See? I'm not lying. Veggies are delicious. I can't believe it. <laughs> she liked them so much that she's also eaten Groovy's dinner. <laughs> Don't worry. Groovy, there's more for you. You can repeat veggies as many times as you want. How well have you eaten dinner? With all these veggies, you'll have energy to play non-stop. What a beautiful day for gardening. Groovy, could you bring these little broccoli plants to Phoebe? No, Groovy. If you eat them all, there won't be any big broccoli. <laughs> That's better. Phoebe, Groovy, the kids and I want to see your garden. Would you show us? These kids are tomato plants. These delicious tomatoes can be eaten, num num, in a salad. Do you like salads? Believe it or not, these are carrots. Yes, carrots. Phoebe, will you show them to the kids? And what's that? Does anyone know what those veggies are called? Exactly. Pumpkins. We play a lot with them at Halloween. <laughs> Quiet, Groovy. Pumpkins are harmless like the rest of the vegetables and also great for our health. Oh, I'm melting. It's too hot. You should protect yourself from the sun before your heads get sunburned. Oh, 
Oh no! Veggies are also hot. Thanks for your straw hat, nice gesture. But what they really, really need is to get water. The hose is there, come on. Kids, kids. Children, children, children. If you keep playing, you are going to break the hose. And it's broken. Thanks, Pops. Children, water is a very scarce resource. You can't waste it like that. Pops, can you help me explain why? All the living beings who live on Earth, plants, animals, humans, and some Martians, need water to survive. As more time passes, there is less water on our planet because we consume more than what is produced. This is why it's super important that we take care of the water we have. This is to say we should use it only for essential things like drinking, washing, or watering our gardens without wasting it. Do you understand? You were playing with the water and have forgotten about watering the plants. And the hose is broken now. How can we water this garden in a sustainable way? <laughs> I don't think that will be enough, Phoebe. But I know, I'm sure Groovy can help us. Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the veggies? Watering can, toothpaste, or a brush. That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a watering can to save the veggies. Really good, Phoebe. Closing the tap on time to save water. Look, plants look beautiful now that they've been watered. If they could talk, they would thank you for sure. A day of hard work in the garden leaves you thirsty. But don't forget what you've learned. We have to share water with everyone and never waste it. What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Oh, awful. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something, right, Pops? Mm. 
our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container. Green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is draw. Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids. Oh, a giant wave! What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know, Groovy can help us. What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful. Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. What a beautiful day to go to the beach. Haha, <laughs> I love how you use the beach wraps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing light clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm, the cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Oh, 
Are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, Phoebe, you're getting sunburnt. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt. And you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburnt easily. Pops, help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburnt. 1. Use sunscreen several times during the day. 2. Use caps or hats. 3. Protect your eyes with sunglasses. And 4. Stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect! Now we need something to cover your head. Great! And what else? Bright, cool sunglasses! You're ready to keep playing! Groovy, what's wrong? Oh no, the waves stole the cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack. Fresh summer fruit. Watermelon, nectarine, melon. We have to get it back. Hmm, what can we do? I know, Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good! Into a paddle boat! Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. You're doing it great. Less is left. Keep moving. Very good. Watch out, a wave. Yay, it's already yours. Now to the beach. Good, you've done it, kids. Now, snack time! Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? Let's clean up the beach and don't forget to recycle the trash. The metal goes in the metal bin The metal 
trying to say something? Oh yes, subscribe kids. Groovy the Martian, official channel.